Ladies and gentlemen, tell the love and tell. Hey, never heard the song before, but this is One Republic. Now, I like One Republic because it's the. Hold on, One Republic. Hold on now. Mama raised them good, y'all. Made them, raised them right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's One Republic. We got something to talk about. We're going to change the dimensions of the viewing public screen. One Republic, I apologize. That is my ringtone. I've always liked the song. It's just the way it was done. I give One Republic a lot of credit. Like One Republic, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's time we talk. Ladies and gentlemen, been talking to a lot of people lately. A lot of people experiencing death in their families, loved ones. My response has been to each one of them. You believe in a God, don't you? Where's your faith? They did not promise you a resurrection. Y'all hear it every time, don't you? Go to these funerals. I am the resurrection and the life, says his son, Christ Jesus. Says he's the resurrection and the life. Resurrection and the life. You must understand. He promised to resurrect individuals to life. Nobody pays attention to the words. He says he is the resurrection and the life. So go, when you get a chance, those of you who are paying attention, go read John, the fifth chapter, verse 26, and find out where he got the life from. You'll get an understanding. Then read verse 28 and 29 about he guarantees a resurrection for the righteous and the unrighteous. Not, not, not the wicked, just the righteous and the unrighteous. Now, there are a lot of you out there that, man, that's just junk. I don't believe that stuff. Guess what? I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to the people who need hope. I ain't talking to the hope list, the people who are without hope. Oh, God, no, I can't help you. You can't even help yourself because you're hopeless. Hopeless. You see, in other words, you cannot ever be hopeless. Because that means you're completely without hope because you can't have a little bit of hope. Either you have hope or you don't. Let me see if I can explain it in English. Either you have hope or you don't. You can't be hopeless because it's impossible for you to care less or to hope less. Because even if you hope less, you still hope. Even if you care less, you still care. Some of you are going to get it. Some of you are going to take you a moment. You're going to be like next week, middle of the day, in front of everybody else. <gasps> oh, oh, that's what he meant. Oh, God. And everybody's going to look at you like, um, okay. You all right? Oh, you, oh, you, you okay? All right. Just want to make sure. I'm going to dial 911 just in case. See, that's what people are going to be looking at you like. So, now we got to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, I've made my mistakes in the past. And because of those mistakes, I've allowed individuals to say things about me, put things up on the internet about me. And I haven't complained about it, haven't done anything about it, you know, because it's one of those things where we kind of figure we deserve something and we get what we deserve. That's not the case, people. There's a lot of things we don't deserve. And so the idea is, there are a lot of you out there that haven't forgiven yourselves. You tell yourself you forgave yourself, but you haven't. Go to sleep at night, and you still remind yourself. Wake up during the day, and you remind yourself. Walk in during the day, and you remind yourself. You're constantly reminding yourself of your errors, because everybody else wants to remind you of your errors. I can't help you with that. But what I can help you with is this. If you're tired of being reminded of your errors, then focus on what you're capable of and achieve that. All right, now we're going to segue. We're going to talk about money right now. 
Well, see, all of that, get rid of all the people who don't really want to be here. People who are just here siphoning <laughs> information off of me. Now we get to talk to the rest of y'all. Now, look, I got my birth certificate today. Got two of them. I ordered two of them. Because the United States State Department hasn't returned my birth certificate when I requested an ID. Uh, yeah, I got it. I am going to be taking them to court, but I got to take my time. I'm not in a rush. They've had it since October of last year. Okay, for 14 months, they've held on to my birth certificate and my ID. They have not returned it. They have my property. I, did, I never surrendered it to them because I redid the paperwork. They know I did because I didn't hide it. Did an affidavit and everything. Everything. But they haven't returned it. So what do I do? What do I do? Well, I got these two no birth certificates. Now, let, me, let, 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 let me tell you all something because I'm just telling it to you all. I've been putting up information about how individuals can create their own private securities. Now, I'm taking that birth certificate. Now, I put it on legal size paper, and I put the word legal copy. Some of y'all don't understand what legal copy means, so I want y'all to watch this one second. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> what is a legal copy of a return check? Now, we're not concerned about the word return. We're concerned about what is a legal copy of a check or a financial instrument or eligible paper. Now, pay attention. Substitute check. All copies of an original check. All copies. What an IES. Pay attention. All copies. Not a copy of an original check, but all copies of original checks. So substitute checks are copies of original checks, copies with an S, pay attention, which are accepted as legally valid by banks. That's a good thing, ain't it? They were made legal in 2003 by the Check 21 Act, and they are now commonly used for check clearing purposes. Banks can use photos and photocopies of the original check in order to make a substitute. That's why you're able to scan a copy of your check and deposit your check into your bank account with your bank app. Okay, so legal copy. So I took all of my promissory notes. Yay! Anyway, I took all of my promissory notes, otherwise known as my birth certificate. And I paid them to the order of the United States of America with my pay to the order of the United States of America stamp. Ta-da! And after I paid them to the order of the United States of America with my pay to the order of the United States of America stamp, I will sign them. Then when I will attach my certification of assignment of credits. Now, I'm calling it a certification of assignment of credits, but it's not a certification. It's just an assignment of credits. I'm going to use my credits to collateralize the security. Now, I had a conversation with one person today because I had to explain to him what was going on because people you still haven't been getting this all these years. You can't just write a security. You can't just take a birth certificate, write something on it, and call it a security. Ladies and gentlemen, the birth certificate that you receive, pay attention to the word, birth certificate. doesn't matter if you authenticate it. It's still a certificate. A certificate is prima facie evidence of the original. <laughs> it's a legal copy. Anyway, so a certificate is not the real thing. So you can't authenticate a copy. People, I'm going to authenticate my birth certificate. Because it's a certificate. I'm sorry, people. That ain't the way it works. That's why you've been getting laughed at when you guys do that and you try to deposit it as a security. You have to do what the banks do when you give them a promissory note. When you give the banks a promissory note, the promissory note is not a security. That's why they need collateral. And by having the collateral, they can now put a security interest on that junk. However, when they take it and they get it from you with the application, it is a security. 
because it needs the application because that's what the Federal Reserve Act requires is the application. But now they give it to the Federal Reserve, they get their money. But what they've done is they create another security. A copy! <clears throat> Shut up! Anyway, they create another security. They use that for which to trade on the market. It's not the same security they give to the Federal Reserve because the Federal Reserve, they take that security that's given to them and they convert that into a bond and they tender that to the Treasury. That's how the Treasury is able to keep that junk in circulation. If you don't believe me, go ahead and go to Fidelity.com, do a YouTube search, YouTube video on how to look up uh, your QCIT number on Fidelity. Go to Fidelity.com, look up your QCIT number for everything, your birth certificate, everything. You'll see it's still trading. Go look up your deed of trust. And not deed of trust, but your mortgage, your so-called promissory note. You'll see it's still trading on the market. Those of you who've done those so-called uh, securitization audits, you'll see that the item is still trading on the market, even after you've lost your home. Even after you've lost your home, that means that debt should be over, right? Nope, they're still trading the security on the market. That's the system, ladies and gentlemen. These securities are perpetual. And that's why they pool them together. That's why there is a pooling and servicing agreement. It's so that they can continue to trade that junk indefinitely. If you don't understand this, go ahead and do your research. Don't take my word for it, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody just told me there's a bunch of attorneys out there talking about me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm telling you how hilarious that is. If there's a bunch of attorneys out there talking about me, and it's all negative, but if I have a bunch of ignorant attorneys out there talking about me, just imagine how great I am. No, 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 no. Think about it. There are 8 billion people on this planet, 8 plus billion, and these attorneys, uh, several of them, are taking the time just to talk about me. You know how many other people out there they get to talk about, and they choose to talk about me? Hmm. Must be doing something right. No, no, hold on. Let me do you this. You remember all those gurus, 2012, 2009, 2008? And I'm not talking about none of them because I have a respect for all of them. Um, Doug Riddle, uh, Tim Turner, uh, Mr. Winston Shroud, David Jones, and my man who is no longer here. Now, I don't know why his name, Kane, Jerry Kane. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody talks about them anymore, except people like me, who revere, respect, and honor those individuals. Many, none of them, several of them are not dead, okay? They murdered Jerry Kane and his son. Matter of fact, that thing was so... They tried to botch that up so much, uh, playing with the video and everything, trying to hide what they did to that young man. But what I'm trying to say is, they're not talking about them. Go ahead. They're not talking about anybody else. Why are they talking about me? What did I do? All I'm doing is telling you guys what's going on behind the scenes, what their secrets are. They can't hide their secrets anymore. The secrets are right out there to be exposed. I got one more thing to show you. Hey, y'all see this? I want y'all to pay attention to the second section. The way to find this is go type in federal agency withholding address hyphen HHS, Health and Human Services, HHS. And you'll be taken to the Health and Human Services website. Hold on, let me show you. You'll be taken to the Health and Human Services website. And it'll be, this one is our, uh, ACH, uh, ACF dot hhs dot gov but you can get there the way i told you and you see where it says matrix right here where it says make get out of here i said right 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 ooh, ooh, too far down see where it says matrix right here right there see that right there that matrix okay click on that and that'll get you to download now when you download it you want to go to the second column this is the first column see right there and pay attention federal agencies addresses for income withholdings so federal agency address withholdings is the easiest way to get there. Now, I want you to pay attention. Administrative officer of the courts, 
United States Federal Courts, Federal Judicial Center, United States Judges, United States Sentencing Commission. Go back and look at the previous ones. There was no United States Federal Courts in the previous documents. There was no Federal District Court. Hold on now. You remember, if you remember me showing you guys this, this number right here was up with this number. They were together. The reason why this is so important, because I wrote a FOIA to the administrative office of the court, and they told me that they had nothing to do with the courts. Really? Well, how come you and the federal courts have the same EIN numbers? These are all subsidiaries of the administrative office of the courts. Administrative office of the court is not a legislative body. It's not a judicial body. It's an administrative body. How can the administrative office of the court, an administrative body, of the executive branch control the courts. Well, I can tell you why. Hold on, let me show you something. One second. Remember, the judicial power is vested in one Supreme Court, the Supreme Court of the United States. Now, because, take a look at what it says afterwards, USC, USSC, which stands for the United States Supreme Court. Now, the USSC, pay attention, is not the United States Supreme, the Supreme Court of the United States of America. No, this is the United States Supreme Court. The fact that they label it Supreme Court of the United States is not the same court. That's why they have their own separate EIN number. Okay? This is their EIN number. This is how you prove the courts are fake. Now, this is what Dave Jose is talking about that they're all administrative. They're all under the executive branch. If they have an EIN number, EIN numbers are supplied by the executive branch. Remember, you cannot mix the branches. Separation of powers clause. Okay? Okay? All right. So, getting back to what you need to know. Do your research on how to collateralize a bond. How to back a bond with collateral. I will be updating you guys in the future. I'm not doing it tonight. I'm tired. I've been up all day doing consults, helping as many people as I could today, but it's exhausting. It took a lot of out of, a lot out of me today. But I did what I could to give the people what they needed. Now look, I can't make the courts do anything. I can only tell you what you legally and lawfully have the right to do. You have to have the stamina for saying, oh, no, y'all not doing that to me. Y'all uh -uh, did that to Betty, and Betty couldn't handle it. But y'all do that to me, I'm appealing everything. And I'm going to appeal, and I'm going to get you guys documented for violating my rights, and then I'm going to come after you. I want you to know I'm not going to come after you with no violence or anything. I'm coming after you legally. See, once I document you violating my rights, now you free game because you ain't got no immunity. Qualified or otherwise. Some of y'all understand what I'm talking about. The rest of y'all gonna have to wait until I go into more detail. Hey, I gotta go. Y'all take care of yourselves. I do hope for those of you who have lost loved ones that you don't lose hope. For those of you who are without hope, it is my hope that you gain some. Because if you have no hope, then you have no reason to live. Hold on now. Everybody who's got a reason to live is because they have hope. Now, if you don't believe me, test out that theory and you'll see it's not a theory. It's a reality. When people lose hope, they stop living. That's why you see the hospitals will tell you in a split second. When a person loses hope, they go downhill pretty quick. So those of y'all who are worried about your health, then you're going to have to have something to hope for or your health is going to keep deteriorating. Look, liver disease, heart disease, lung disease, kidney disease, damaged brain, myasthenia gravis, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic insomnia, muscular dystrophy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> do I need to go on? And I promise you, it is no woe is me. 
I had those moments. I did. I did a long time ago. I had those moments, but don't have those moments no more. Why? Because I can see tomorrow. I'm not living for tomorrow, but I can see tomorrow. Ah, that means I got hope because I can see tomorrow. No, no, I'm not planning for tomorrow because I'm not talking about 24 hours from now. Oh, no, no, no. See, I focus on today, every 24 hours. Okay, when I get to 12 midnight, it's a, it's today again. 12 midnight, it's today. And I keep going for today. As long as I keep going for today, I ain't got to worry about tomorrow. That's the first thing. But I can see tomorrow. I can see tomorrow. All right, hold on. Got one more thing. All right, this is the Watchtower Library from JW.org. So this is the JW.org app. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go with what I told y'all. John. Those of y'all who ain't got the stomach for this, y'all know what to do. Go someplace else. Go to John 5th chapter, verse 26. I want to make sure y'all see that I ain't just spewing nothing out of my mouth. Now, let's look at verse number 26. It says, for just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted also to the Son to have life in himself. I'm not here to talk about Trinity. Okay? I'm here to talk about life. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. So he's got the ability to give life. Want to prove it? Look at verse number 28. Do not be amazed at this. King James Version says, do not marvel at this. It says, because the hour is coming in which all those in the memorial, we're right there, tombs will hear his voice and come out. Those who did good things to a resurrection of life, life. There's that word again. And those who practice vile things to a resurrection of judgment. See that right there? He promises life. He promises life, a resurrection of life for those good people, those people you love, those people you cared about. He promises life. He didn't say life in heaven. Pay attention. Because those who practice vile things don't go to heaven. So this ain't talking about heaven, people. Pay attention. We're not going to talk about all of the details of it. That's not what this video is for. I'm just letting you know that I'm not just speaking out the side of my neck. I can prove everything I talk about. Now, when y'all get a chance, John 11 chapter. John the 11 chapter explains what happens at death. If you are curious, go take a look. I ain't going to tell you John 11, 1 through 44. Go and take a look. I showed you this. I was right about it, wasn't I? So now go take a look at that. I ain't preaching. I'm just telling y'all the way things is. T-I-Z. That's all. All right. Now I got to go because it's 7-Eleven. That's the time right now. 7-Eleven. I ain't joking. I looked at the clock. It says 7-Eleven right there in the top left corner. 7-Eleven. Okay. So while it being 7-Eleven, I'm going to go because I got a slight headache coming on because I didn't eat until after six. So that means I went the whole day without eating. And quite literally, I keep forgetting. Literally, when I'm so busy, I do forget to eat. And that's my problem. That's why I'll end up with a headache. And we have a storm system passing through, which is barometric issues. So that's going to make the headache is not too bad. I can deal with the headache. I can do the little pinching of the space between the thumb and the index finger. And literally, the headache goes away. And I promise you, the headache is not there anymore. However, I'm not just going to keep doing that. That hurts for me because I have a muscular disease. You know what I'm saying? So that junk hurts. Uh, I'm sensitive to the touch. So that actually is very painful for me. So it's one pain in exchange for the other. So I ain't doing that. Now, I got to go watch Justice League 2. Injustice League. I got to go watch just Injustice League 2. And I'm kind of getting into that. Oh, y'all don't know? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There it is right there. Okay. See, it says Injustice League 2, the movie, all out scenes or cut scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is how many? This thing is two hours and 45 minutes. It'll be another two days before I get to the end of this thing. Because this ain't no binge watching stuff for me. 
this is, I need a distraction at night, and this is my distraction before I go to sleep. And I literally will fall asleep. And just before I fall asleep, I'll turn it off, turn on what I listen to at night while I'm asleep, and go to sleep. And then in the morning, I do the same thing all over again. Sit in front of that computer talking and helping people. And the next thing I know, back watching the rest of this. And then going, oh, no, tomorrow's meeting day. So there's just meetings and meetings and meetings. It's Wednesday. Wednesdays is a horrific day. But anyway, Wednesday shall be okay. All right? So there you go. That's my routine. But if y'all ain't seen it, this is gameplay. No, it ain't. There are no, nobody playing any games. See, this is it right here. Hold on. Okay. I can watch that. That's like a, watching a movie, y'all. See what I mean? It's just like watching a movie. Okay, we got to stop y'all right there. We don't we don't watch enough. It's a game. There's no copyright issues, but it's a game. But I like it. Okay? They're all acting and everything. I like it. And so I watch it. Now, this is not, this is not the only thing. Like I said, Detroit uh, Become Human. Detroit Become Human is probably one of my favorites. Okay, and then I just watched Cyberpunk 2077. I just finished that complete thing earlier this morning. It's called Cyberpunk 2077, and I forgot what the rest of the title is, but that one is okay. It's not the greatest. It doesn't start to get actually very good until towards the end. It's drawn out and everything, but when you get towards the end, it actually picks up and it actually makes a lot of sense. So that one right there is the way the British does things. So there you go. All right, there you go. Hey, I know some of y'all are starting to watch this and I know some of y'all are starting to see what I'm talking about. So I got y'all. Okay. Have a good day, everybody. I got to go. This is my movie. I got to go watch. Bye-bye.